Hey, what's going, going on everybody? Adam McChesney here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about consulting for equity. Before we dive into today's video, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. That way you can get notified about videos that we launch every single Tuesday and Friday around digital marketing, self-development and entrepreneurship. So back to the topic for today's video, the thing that I'm excited to talk to you about here today, which is consulting for equity. So there's a variety of different ways that you can consult for equity. And I'm no expert by any means, but I've started to get some opportunities to be able to get equity with inside of companies to bring my expertise, not just around digital marketing, but also business and entrepreneurship. Marketing is obviously one thing that has drawn me and others to me for these types of opportunities to come in and bring in assets to be able to completely revamp and run their marketing departments with inside of their company, kind of like a, a chief marketing officer of sorts but without obviously being in the business full time and with obviously out without paying our agency in order to do the work. So you're gonna start to see and hear more of the term consulting for equity. All of that means is basically offering consulting services of some shape or fashion. And instead of getting paid a retainer or a flat fee, you're getting equity with inside of the company, right? So pretty self-explanatory. But the reason why you're starting to see these things happen, and I think happen more often than not, is because entrepreneurs are out there realizing that they need experts to come into their organization, but they don't have the capital in order to be able to invest in that. But they also don't want to continue running the rat race in the way in which they've done that. So they'd rather bring in an expert now, give up a piece of the pie in order to tremendously uh, experience the growth that they're looking for. And they also know that they're not gonna be able to go find somebody that they can hire either part-time or full-time to do what an expert might be able to do with consulting for equity. Typically those experts are gonna bring in not only years of experience, but they're also gonna have strategies, tips and things that they can implement right now as well as connections to other aspects that they might need in order to bring in, in order to take the business from where it's at to where it needs to go, right? So there's a lot of compelling reasons and, and things that uh, bring a lot of, of unique opportunities to the table when we talk about consulting for equity. And I know I have an opportunity right now that I'm taking a look at for a variety of different reasons. One, it's a local business here in St. Louis. Two, I really, really like the owner and the entrepreneur. But three is there's so much ability for us to be able to grow when it really comes to the marketing side. And could they afford something, right, that they would be getting from an agency like Height Digital? Yes. But is it really all that they need? No, there's a much bigger play here. And in order for me to want to spend my time, energy, money and resources in order to do it, I want a piece of the pie. And so I think you're going to see a lot of this stuff in marketing. You're going to see it in business coaching. I think you're even going to see it on the financial and operation side is for us as an agency within the marketing sphere. If I help you grow and scale over the next 12 to 18 months, you are likely going to see a point where you're like, A, I'm either gonna bring this in house or B, I already have enough business I don't need anymore. Both of those reasons you should still be working with an agency in my expert opinion, but typically that doesn't happen, right? We've done all of that work. We've done all of the leg work. We've done all of the strategy and the, and the tips and all of those things, right? We've built up this foundation to be able to take your business to the next level. And then we get our legs cut out from under us, right? So you're going to start to see those strategic marketing agencies or those strategic, you know, marketing experts in the space take a look at things from a different lens. And so I'm looking at it from multifaceted lens of how can I not only provide this company the value and the return on investment and the expertise that they need right now, but how can we make something bigger and better for the future and beyond? And how can I make sure that I have a seat at the table, not just this year, but for years to follow? So consulting for equity, if you haven't heard of this terminology, if you haven't heard of it yet, Stay tuned, you're gonna to start to hear a lot more of it. And if you're not thinking about this 
from either facet of as a business owner, how can I bring people into my ecosystem, bring people on board that I can get their expertise, their consulting for equity in the company, and or how can I take my skill set, the skill set that I have right now as X, Y, or Z, and start to look for these opportunities that might not only help me make some money here and provide impact and get results in 2024, but how could this set me up for the future as well? So thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you got some value and some insights out of this. I know I'm excited to continue to explore things like consulting for equity here in 2024 and beyond, and I hope you are too. Thank you very much for watching today's video, and we'll see you next time.